Hello everybody, this is Swag, and right now I am live streaming myself going through the Open RCT2 title sequence contest. This is a contest in which you use the base game objects to make a full park, and whichever parks win, I believe the top two, maybe the top three parks, um, get to be featured as the title sequence park. So like what we're seeing right now on the recording, uh, this is a park made by somebody who won the contest last time. And uh, every time you open the game, it's going to be the automatic first thing you see, uh, unless you customize it on your own. But uh, by all, uh, by most people who do open the game, it's going to be the title sequence park. So the first entry that we're going to look at is... I have read and understand the voting rules, and I'm going to put my name... Swag. We're going to look at 73 and Banan Fanat. Uh, their story. Let me load their park first. You guys can look at the beginning while I read the story. It is believed that the sins of Captain Buttbeard have brought a curse upon the land. An ancient belief teaches that such a curse as the curse of Buttbeard can only be broken by the collective strength of puke and laughter. The roller coaster tycoon has come forth to bring the end to the curse of Buttbeard by building a theme park on this island. Will these roller coasters bring enough nausea and joy to unchain our souls? Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so I'm going to do a widescreen first. So it looks like a barren island. I see with the trees. That's probably what's going on. And then you got your main entrance. Hello, everyone. I love that. Shout out to Dirklink. Maybe Marcel, too. Doesn't he say it, too? Hello, everyone. Okay, so we got a cool ship. We got a cool building. We got a panda. Dirklink's mom. We got a fun little junior coaster. Looks like we got boat rides going around the park. We got some uh, dueling, potentially, or is this the same coaster? Yeah, I built the dueling giga coasters. Okay, cool. Looks like some dueling coasters going on. And then we got like a little dive coaster. We've got a coaster called Shark. Oh, I think the station looks kind of like a shark fin. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but it looks good. And then we got a RMC coaster. Hey, what's over here? Oh, Captain Buttbeard has been banished. That's good. Uh, yeah, um, the non fanat built almost everything. I only built, built the Giga Coasters. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, how about that, the non fanat Good job building the whole park. We got food and eating and such. Do you know how long he uh, spent on the park, or was what was the... It, it took him, like, two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, cool. I can see there's touches of theme here and there, and perhaps the story. I mean, from what I could tell on the story, it's like the island needed somebody to play Roller Coaster Tycoon on it to save the people. And this kind of looks like, you know, a scenario that somebody would play on. So pretty good job, I would I would say, uh, overall. Um, maybe uh, a little bit more theming here and there might make it feel a little less barren but i guess the barren's part of the story so it comes across that way so you know good job good job so let's go ahead and give this a vote okay next up oh we're not going to vote on this one this the next one would be my coaster park that i worked on with a lot of other good people and i'm actually going to make a separate video for that one so we will come back to that one. I will have to just vote for it because my vote will be null. Can't vote on your own park. So the next one we have is ATN. I'm not familiar with ATN, so we'll find out who this person is. No story, by the way. They had 114 entertainers. Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they have 200 entertainers. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Okay. 
half the entertainers are just like stacked up in one place probably no way i can't wait to see this oh wow this is a pretty big park okay so we first start off in the main entrance with a giant flag uh that is made out of plants looks fun looks cool i like these little buildings we got some flat rides we got the maze we got some taller buildings looks like a chairlift building Looks like the chairlift goes across the park. We'll work our way that way. We got ourselves a side friction coaster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, this kind of looks like a 73 park right here. Sort of the abstract theming. I think that's pretty cool. And then we got like a freeway out there. And then we have our frozen land. Oh, wow. Well, my game lagged for a second. Okay, kind of back towards the entrance. We got an off-road vehicle. Oldsmobile cars. That looks fun. Got a RMC coaster. Can I point something out really quick about this park that yeah, I noticed? Go ahead. You can definitely tell this was built with the intention of there being, like those picture perfect freeze frames that you want to see when you open the game like there's oh there's yeah different zones. like you know the camera's maybe positioned over the 73 looking area or something like that or you know like those triple yeah. coasters you know there's a lot of places you could freeze the camera that and just sense. like have it disappear into the background or your memories or whatever you want the title sequence to do that kind of makes sense it's like screenshots across the park as different sections we've got a classic looking rapids it's been a while since i've seen a rapids built with only the rapids pieces because we've just gone to custom river rapids um we've got this little river that cuts through with these fun little awnings and then we've got coasters back here oh that's interesting making water features on top of coaster track this looks like a stand-up coaster don't see many of those whoa okay okay smile Ooh. sorry i've been yawning a lot okay we got a lighthouse adam's gonna love that we got a helicopter ride okay where are all these entertainers i gotta see this you don't come at me with 200 entertainers. I I think they are truly just walking around the park. That's so funny. Okay, instead of exiting out all of this, I'm just going to load it up again. Okay, well, good job, ATN. Building a full park does not is not a cakewalk, I'll tell you that. So congrats on finishing a full park. You know you can press shift backspace, right? Are you about to teach me something? Let me try this. Because. Holy crap. Well, you taught me something today. Congratulations. That's amazing. Thank you for the info. Okay. The next park is Ball Pit, Warrior, Dirk Link, and Monster Bucks. These are heavy hitters. Okay, let's look at the story. Welcome to Summerland. This park is based on the Danish park called Jir's Summerland and has a lot of rides inspired by their real-life counterparts. Take a ride on the tire-launched coaster Juvelin. Ride below the track on the family invert Dragon Kongen. Dragon Kongen. Or soak your friends on Solgunden, or Solguden. Other than these, lots of other rides from Jir's have been placed around the park. Come and check them out. Okay, let's check him out. I remember seeing him build this on the stream. That's a nice little coaster right there. Zoom out. Ooh, I like that. Those farmlands look great. I guess flowers. Okay, we got a nice little splash boats ride. I like it. Looks like we got a train. 
that goes around the map. That is fun. That is so fun. Ooh. This must be the tire drive. Yeah, they got the tire launch. What is that? Is that a roller coaster car, I'm guessing, maybe? That's great. We got a River Rapids ride. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, churros, yum. Ooh, I love this junior coaster. We got a figure eight. That's a great little ride. Oh, he has so many little flat rides. These are great. Got a little disco. Or not a disco, sorry. That's a... Whatever you call it. It's like a swinging spinner. Oh, here's the hanging ride. Nice. Oh, it's cool. It's got a little facade, and then the back is just sort of green. Does this park have an inversion at all? I guess not. Doesn't need it. Uh, I just thought that's that's crazy. He's got so many little flat rides. Very impressed with. Yeah, they've really heard shoestringing and showed up. Yeah. There's so much. It is crazy. And it just feels like... Uh, it just feels like RCT. I'll tell you that. It, nothing too crazy. Nothing too advanced. Just kind of feels normal. Normal. Just kind of feels like somebody could pick up the game and build it, you know? Oh, there you go. Got a little swinging ship. Good job, good job. Next up we have Broxier, Flying Robin, Natty's Dreamland, and Wes. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. Okay, so we got this main entrance. Looking good. Love the color. And the theming. What a beautiful fountain. That's a really cool fountain. I like how they use track underneath it to make it look like there's wires. Ooh, look at that. Nice boat. Okay, let's work our way around the park. So over here, what do we got? Sort of a lost world. Comes this little flying coaster. And a boat ride that takes you through. Love it. Got a little swinging ship over here. A little bridge. Then we work our way into a castle. Oh, the door. They did it the right way. Good for them. <laughs> Looks fun. Is there a ride over here besides the train? Maybe not. Just the train. Oh, I like that. Looks like the train's mast fell off. And I like this bridge. Over here, it looks like a pirate cove. Okay, so we got like a little pirate coaster. Oh, a triple launch. That's fun. We have the CP6 boat right here. This is what this ride is. Is it a triple launch? Intense. Cool, cool. Oh yeah, using some of those new pieces. I saw something in the beginning of this. Oh, computer's lagging. Why is it lagging? Oh fun, a little under the water. That's nice. Okay. Oh, a little play place. Love it. Oh, it's not a train. It's tram. Okay. Yeah, I'd say overall, it looks nice. It's very clean. Um, I mean, I think the only thing, which is strange to say, is like some more rides would make it a little bit more exciting. But overall, very nice park. Looks good. Next up, we have Immortal Cactus. Let's see if this lives up to the hype. 
Okay. Whoa. Okay. Not typical immortal cactus, I feel like. Guess we'll find out. Let's see what this mastermind did with his rides. Looks like a pretty traditional little side friction coaster. Wood expert. We got a double decker carousel. Nice little shoe strung ride right here. Is that a backward single rail and a forward single rail? Oh, Kingslayer. What's happening here? Oh, that's the station. Okay. That's fun. I love how they're loading. That's really fun. How does this ride start? It's starting going backwards. Or what? What? Is this going to drop through? Oh, that's what I'm guessing. A super creative ride. That's what Cactus is known for. What in the world? Oh, wow. They went onto the same track. Interesting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got the ship swinging. Oh, to and fro. That's fun. And then we got a power splash. It's pretty snazzy. Watch this thing rotate. It's going to go in. All right. Yep. That dude knows black magic. I'll tell you that. We got a little tram station. It's nice. What is this? Bungee? Into the hole? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's great. That's great. Wow. Oh, a little ride sign. Or not ride sign. Uh, map. Park map. I'd say fun. Fun. This is fun. Good job overall. Solid, solid. Okay, we got a big one. An error predicting a fault. Max Arceus and 30. I'm going to load this one up and I'm going to read the story, kind of. It's pretty long. Intelligent life exists on Titan, Saturn's largest moon. The Titanians have observed Earth's humanity for some time now, fascinated by their culture. They've taken on various aspects of humans as well as including a love for thrilling theme parks. Okay, this is like a different history. Titanica has their own unique rides, some that look like they should be on Earth. Um, we wanted to show how even without fancy custom recolorable objects or even expansion objects, it's still possible to let your imagination run wild and create an atypical theme park. Let's check it out. Okay, we got Titan with the big letters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy cannoli. The, I'm guessing Max got the background. He's done that before. Okay, so we got some rides. There's the main area. I want to, like, give these people a handshake. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is crazy. We got a fun little spaceship slash swinging ship. She strung motorbikes. What what ride is the motorbikes? I always forget. What in the world? Did it switch? Those aren't the same... I'm guessing it's steeplechase, like it's a different ride vehicle for steeplechase. Yeah, those are steeplechase. 
There's so much going on. I gotta figure out what I wanna look at. Okay, it looks like we got some sort of coaster. Looks like maybe a triple launch coaster over here. Oh my gosh, maybe it's not a coaster. Oh no, it is a coaster. It's just set up to have a rocket take off. That's fun. We got a little uh, hyper coaster. I shouldn't say little, but that's fun. Got little rovers, desert buggies. This guy's having a good time. <laughs> Widget kitty going fast. Whoa! Nice. So much going on, so if I miss something, I apologize. Looks like an RMC or whatever Titan's Mountain Range is. TMC, Titan Mountain Construction. It's a cool little ride. Ooh, is this like a Super Mouse? A factory waggler. So maybe they don't have mice, they've got things called wagglers. That's pretty funny. It's a fun looking ride. Nice. They really did a good job decorating like the flat rides uniquely. It just looks out of this world. Love that Ferris wheel with actual Ferris wheel. Got a, f oh, kids friendly. Instead of using like an RMC layout, they did one of those Intamin layout single rails. Acid River rafts. Oh. Dude, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. Holy cow. Oh, wow. That's a cool superstructure. That's really cool. It's got the ride just like the stratosphere on Earth has. Oh, and then they got themselves like a mountain coaster. And a suspended flyer. That's really fun. Super awesome, like, maze. There's just so much going on. Good for them. They filled this park to the brim. Oh, and then over here, I'm guessing this is, like, Earth. Yeah, suburban Earth. That's so funny. Swag titties. Gotta see. Confused in... Astro World. Haha. <laughs> That's great. Good job. This is this is fantastic. I think this one might be my favorite one so far, and I'm not even a fantasy guy. So congrats. Okay, the next one is L S A O or maybe I Zao. There might be an I. Welcome to Sandbar Seashore, a beach and ocean themed entertainment park located at the charming site along the sunny coast lounging under palm trees following the journey of water into the sea exploring the abyssal depths of the ocean you can do it all at the sandbar seashore okay okay so we got a little island got a fun little entrance with the water ride that's a unique way of uh, giving the building more texture. I can appreciate that. We got a little junior coaster. We got a little shoestring palm tree ride. Got a shoestring ride in here. That looks good. We got ourselves a pretty big B&M looking coaster. Yeah. B&M multi-looper. Go-karts. I don't know what's in here. I'm guessing like restaurants and stuff. Yeah, they got little tables. That's a pretty cool sign. Got an Enterprise. This looks like a submarine. Yeah. Some more food areas and like office space. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty solid. I don't recognize this builder. So if this is their first park, I mean, pretty Pretty darn good job. 
Okay. Next up, we've got Kazrag, or Garzak, if you say it backwards. Zion Gardens. Let's load it up while I do some reading. Zion Gardens started as my rendition of my favorite scenario, Evergreen Gardens, and quickly became a tribute to two of my favorite places, the Zion Escalante region in the Utah front half of the park and the Black Hills in South Dakota, Wyoming, the back half of this park. The most of these rides and shops are named after areas specific to places I visited, things I did, and wildlife I saw. I also tried to keep the capture keep wait. I also tried to capture the spirit of the region so you'll find several hiking trails and the tangled tree roots scenery and enjoy. Oh yeah. I saw this. I was like wow that's that looks cool. It's a really fun entrance. Wish it wasn't so close to the border. But that's probably because this is the entrance building. Probably. Oh, I like that little train of stalls. We got a fun little special merry-go-round. A double swinging ship. I love it. Little kids area where they're like, Taught to conserve. Fossil hunting kids. Yeah, this is cool. I got it right away. Like, this is where kids come over to learn. Looks like we got, like, a family inverted boomerang. That's fun, too. Oh, a little go-kart track. We got monster truck rallies. We got a hiking trail, it looks like. Oh, no, mountain biking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. I get that. That's cool. Looks like an infinity coaster. Ranger station. We got an RMC. That looks like a pretty realistic RMC layout. Is this a zip line into the water? Potentially, maybe. Yep. Wee. Oh, it pulls them back up. Okay. That's fun. Got one of those parachute rides. Oh no! If this thing starts spinning when it gets to the top, I'm done. Okay, 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 okay. I was about to be done. Another go kart track. It's fun. Horseback riding. Very well themed overall. A uh, little flying coaster. We got a special little log flume. It's kind of like if a river rapids and log flume were put together. And then we got a hiking trail. This is cool. That looks nice. Very pretty. Yeah, really good job overall. A uh, little barbecue pit. Cool. Well, how about that? Very well done. What's this? <gasps> Am I not supposed to see this? Oh no. Good job, Kazrag. Lurker, Ka a collection of scenario inspired islands, each with their own theme. I have seen Lurker build before, and I'm looking forward to Lurker's Park. Okay. Lurker's style, classic. Kind of island we got over here. Just purple candy. Twisty Taffy. Okay, that came across really well. Oh, I love it. I love the chessboard. Nice little rapids, suspended flyer. Oh my gosh, this is way bigger than I thought. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got the lighthouse. We got a single rail coaster. Sort of like giant land, you got big bugs and carrots and stuff, that's cool. Sort of an Asian themed wooden coaster.
Go Kart City theme. Sort of a funky factory. Wacky Waterworks. That's fun. Oh, wow. This is cool. A little spooky, spooky island. This kind of feels like Lurker's last entry, to be honest. I feel like it had islands, like, where the screenshots could be taken. Maybe I'm misremembering, but these are a little bit more theme-oriented, that's for sure. Got a little pirate-powered coaster area. Got a Roman-filled dive coaster. I've already looked over here. What's over here? Like, castle? Little terrain coaster. Not bad, not bad. This is, it's a fun one to look at. It feels really RCT, you know, classic. Where's the park entrance, though? Is it like your boats come around? I feel like that might be one thing missing is the park entrance. Because that's like what you see when you play Roller Coaster Tycoon for the first time is the, the park entrance. So, But good job overall. I mean, Lurker's, Lurker's a really solid builder. Next up, we have Martin Train Freak. Let's check this out. No story. Okay. Got a little city. Okay, here's the park entrance. Oak Grove Park. We got a lot going on. Got some coasters. Oh, dang, that's a big one. Ooh, okay, big one here, too. I think it's a little too condensed. Like there's too much going on. Like if you took a screenshot right here, I don't even know where my eye would focus. There's so much going on. Not saying it's not good, but it is really tough to follow sometimes. Love this. Love that little aero mine train. That's fun. Let's change the camera perspective. This sort of feels like scenario scenario play too. We're sort of all packed into inside fence gates potentially. But there's some really good little details like that old train. Oh, what's over here? Just a little theming. Oh, crazy house. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, I think this is just a little too packed in for my flavor. Next up, we got Matt M. Let's see if there's a story to this. No story, so let's go ahead and look at it. We got this giant coaster. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Holy cannoli. <laughs> okay, Madman. I love this park because it has all these big coasters in it. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm getting Son of Beast vibes because of the looping Woody. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty grand entrance. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is kind of like what the big coasters look like. When you try to rebuild, like, real-life coasters, it looks like this sometimes. Like, this one. Is this a real park? I feel like this is a real park. Maybe not. I mean, obviously, that's Son of Beast. Is that possessed? What's this one called? Burbical Velocity. <laughs> I'm guessing Vertical Velocity is what it was called. And this one was like Ninja. Oh, Shockwave. Chang's Revenge. Now, this is fun. This is, uh, it's like if I played the original RCT game and then turned everything up to 15. This is what this is. Oh, my gosh. Just a crazy amount of bigness. 
I still can't. this helix. This looks like the um, it looks like a chair, like a lazy boy chair. If you painted this all brown, it'd be like a leather chair. This alone right here makes me, it literally makes my eyes go, what's happening? Like a, uh, <laughs> That's so funny. That's so insane. How oh, are there so many people here, but the, there's nothing on the parking lot. Oh my gosh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna nitpick that bad. Well, good job, Matt. I think this is the last one. We've got Widget Kitty. Ever since starting with OpenRCT2 about a year ago, I've been wanting to make my own large park with several themed areas. The past opening sequence contest was one of the first I ever voted on, and it was inspiring to build my own huge park. But at the time, I lacked the skills and time. But when the new coaster, or no, when, when the new contest was announced, I felt motivation to finally create Widget's World, a large park with 45 rides and a half dozen theme zones, including Pirates Harbor, Kids Candy Kingdom, can't say I'm the greatest yet, but there's plenty of things that could have been done better. No shoestringing, etc. But I gave it all uh, in my effort all month. Hope that makes the title sequence. Well, let's find out. Okay. So we got Widget World. Fun. Okay, we'll work our way around the park. So we got a little dark ride, haunted house ride. That's cool. Looks like a little fairground with circus trailers, monster trucks. We got a family coaster, Ladybug's Big Day, and a maze. Oh, I like that barn and the maze theme. That's good. That's fun. And we got a kid's candy kingdom, I'm assuming. Oh, wow, that scared me. The train came in and the other one got pushed out. Looks like a little transport ride. Okay, here we go. We got a bigger coaster back here. Meanders a little bit and then it hits the... Is that a chain lift or a booster? Looks like a chain lift. Okay. This is like a Roman themed area. I'm guessing there's go-karts in there somehow. Yeah, go-karts down there. Okay, we got a cool RMC, Roman themed. Do, do, do. Looks like a water park. We got a water coaster. What is this? This is like Minecraft land. That's like rat, oh, okay, that's fun. That is a wild mouse themed to the mouse trap game. That's actually really fun. Wow, good job. This might be the highlight of the park so far. Interesting little boomerang. Guessing this is the pirates area. Cue the ships. Virginia Reels. I mean, you went after it. That's for sure. Yeah, overall, pretty solid job. I think uh, a little bit more breathing room. This is kind of common when you're making a park is to kind of smash everything together. But if you had some more breathing room be between areas and uh, I think some of the areas like this area feels like it's okay, but up front, it's a little cramped. And uh, overall, pretty good job. Like the landscaping in the backgrounds. So, yeah, good job, would you, Kitty? Okay, time to submit my votes. Okay, well, that wraps it up for the Open RCT2 Title Sequence Contest. Now, you didn't see the park that I built. I'm going to be making a separate video, and I say park that I built. Me and a lot of other cool builders built it. Um, you guys can go ahead and join Dirklink's DKMP Discord to sign up and vote for this contest. Uh, the winner, 
I think, or winners of this contest will be featured in the opening title sequence. So when you go to the main menu, this is the part that you will see. You will see this whenever the uh, winner is selected. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you all in the next video.